So if you do a lot of firmware upgrades or you're changing firmware, it's always a good idea to do a VFO reset to save any problems. So with IJV, you just press the PTT and the exit button. Keep them pressed and switch it on. See, it goes into reset VFO. So I'm now running the latest IJV version 2.9 R4. So when you do a VFO reset, you will have to change a few of the settings back, like the backlight and the display for the channel and the frequency. So the backlight is M18, M again for menu, then you go through, switch it to on constantly. That's what I choose normally. You can do the nighttime light or whatever they call it, the negative display. And the next one is, so with my channels, obviously I've got the frequencies named. So it's M17, M again. Then I want the name and frequency to be shown. So it just names small, frequency large. So name large, frequency small. So you can choose whatever you want there and go back. And you'll see if I go into my memory mode and go to C at 021. Got my airband 2 there. So if you do want to name channels, the easiest way to do it is in chirp. You can do it through the handset, but it's yeah not the best for doing it through the handset. So once you've done your VFO reset to begin, you know you can move in between memories if you've got them by pressing and holding free to find new frequencies, new channels. You can press and hold scan, same as Exumo and exit to stop the scan you can move up and down your increments with the b and c buttons the up and down so if i was to find a channel after scanning you, you know you've got your modulation you can change directly from the keypad which i like about rjv Although you can do it within the spectrum on, on Exuma, it's handy to be able to do it on normal VFO memory mode on dual channel. So with IJV, once you've found your frequency, you've locked into a signal. If you press and hold 4, it's inserted into new memory and it gives you the slot. So it automatically puts it into the next available memory slot. So if you're switching over from Exuma to IJV to give it a try, and let me show you which buttons are the same and which have changed. So your scan is still the scan button. The VFO and memory is the same. The A and B, so to switch from the upper to the lower channel is the same. And uh, high, low and medium TX power is the same. So the buttons which have changed are the frequency capture is no longer holding 4, it's F4. And five is filters, so you'd have to go into the menu, you just press and hold five. You can see you've got more options, wide band plus, wide band, narrow, narrow band minus. Number nine is your frequency step, so you'd have to go into your menu again, you just press and hold nine. You can see there it's changing the frequency step or you can go into the menu you've got more options the frequency step changes with the modulation so your am your sb your cw your fm and you've got your modulation straight from the keypad zero fm just press and hold it you go sb cw fm AM. In Exuma, to go through the frequency band, you just press and hold 1. On the IJV, it's F1. See it's changing the frequency bands. So that's a slight change. To so go into the hidden menu, it's PTT and F1. Switch it on. 
release the keys and when you go into the menu so you've got 67 there so normally you would have 53 this is partly why I like IJV, I don't have to keep going into the menu. The only thing I miss about using Exuma, which I always have on the other radio, is obviously the spectrum function. I think if IJV had the spectrum function, I probably would stick to using IJV. There's not much in it between performance. The gain is probably going to help in certain situations. You don't have gain control on Exuma like you do on IJV. So, yeah, I like using both right now. Now, a lot of people say I, I like Exuma because that's what they started out with. But for me, I keep saying it, it's all about using the other firmwares and giving them a try. There might be certain features and functions you like better than Exuma. You might like to switch in between the two, like myself. So I showed you how automatic gain and manual gain works on all the modulations apart from FM. So in FM you can still use it as a manual gain. So this is how you do it. You can only do it while you're receiving the signal, but if you press function one, you break through that squelch. Just quick press of F, F will display there, and you just use your up and down keys. You see the gain change in here same as before so I thought you might find that interesting so you can only use that while you're you know the squelch is off or you're receiving the signal um well to change so you've got like this negative display so if you go into menu 18 press menu again and you can go through all your options, your timeouts. Uh, you've got a night version there now. It's called a negative display. You use this on watches. So yeah, it's quite good. You can use it during the day or at night time really. It still, still stands out pretty well. So this feature is known as a partial frequency scan. It's the same as Exuma's scan range. So if you're in memory mode, a long press of 3 will take you into VFO, once in VFO you enter in your lower frequency where you want to start frequency, so if you say 260 and then you press and hold it again, so low range is ok, then you enter in your higher end frequency and you press and hold it once more it should scan in between those frequencies now. There you go. So it is working. Between 260 and 261. It just loops. It's stopping because it's picking up a signal. So that is partial scan. So the YouTube channel now has a website. We have a bulletin board forums which cover a lot of this custom firmware, news, updates. If you want to come over and get involved, I'll leave a link down below.